Dozens of people gathered in Northeast Baltimore tonight to pray for peace. They lit candles, they sang songs, just steps away from where two men were killed over what police say was a dispute over a parking space earlier this month. 11 News reporter Kai Reed is live downtown at police headquarters with more on the story. Kai? Well, Stan, organizers thought it was quite timely to hold a vigil for peace and justice on the observance of Martin Luther King's birthday. The overall message at the vigil was that violence is not the way to solve problems. Song, candles, and prayer meant to heal and help send the message that's been preached so often. The only way the violence stops is if every single person accepts the fact that violence is not the way to solve their problems. Organizers are from the Ramblewood neighborhood, where two men were killed on January 9th over an apparent argument over a parking space. According to police, Dennis Paget got an assault rifle and a handgun out of his house and first shot and killed Troy Preston in front of his young son, and then chased down and killed Robert Thomas. Neighbors say that Paget and Thomas had several heated arguments over the parking space in the past year. Court documents give no indication that Troy Preston had anything to do with the dispute. It's about some, some, something ridiculous like a parking space or something ridiculous about a Twitter post or something somebody said on, put on Instagram or Facebook. Our lives should be worth more than that. But the majority of homicides occur over disrespect. Disrespect. Somebody gets disrespected and somebody picks up a gun. And then those bullets don't have names. They just go. They fly and they hit innocent people. Community members paused and prayed for Thomas, Preston, and hundreds of other victims. The vigil follows a particularly violent weekend in Baltimore City. Ten people were shot between Friday and Sunday night, including two men shot in the head Sunday at a pizza shop on Denison Street in West Baltimore. We need peace, and it's nothing like coming together to network and talk about issues. Of liberty. And now, Police Commissioner Anthony Batts made some comments today about the violence over the weekend. He talked about connection between the shootings and what he called robberies gone wrong. He said the department is investigating. He also said that they're following up on leads from that double homicide last night on Denison Street. Reporting live at Baltimore City Police Headquarters, Kai Reed, WBAL TV 11 News.